Tell you where we had some problems right here these wouldn't fit under there so we had to put the feet up on blocks but then we were able to move the pallet or the uh, engine hoist out and we couldn't set this down so what we did we put this underneath the side was able to lift it up lift up on this pulled out one side of the blocks and had it tipped over on this leaned over on the side a little bit and then went to the other side and did that kind of rough it worked though and i would encourage anybody getting one of these to get one of the engine hoists that have the wider legs So I had everything jacked up and I had this moved around with this uh, pallet jack that we rented from an Ace Hardware for $20 for four hours. Seems like a lot, but I had to do it. I had to move it away from this wall. There was no way I could move it away with the engine hoist. So I don't know, about 18 inches away from the wall so I can sort of get back here. I still have to figure out the organization for the wires and everything, but as far as everything goes, it's, it's, it's coming along all right and i'm going to make an enclosure out of 80 20 and some plexiglass and i just wanted to show how am i supposed to set this thing up so have this piece of one by three back here and this is how everything's hooked up i have this uh power strip back here to plug everything in and of course the air coming from the air compressor right over there air coming over and down I have, I could not get this, <laughs> get this on all the way, but it is not coming off. I mean, there's air in there already, but there's air. So I can run my air hose to blow whatever's off, chips off, whatever. And this one is going to the fog buster. This one's going to the power draw bar. And power draw bar is plugged in. This is gonna be the work and process table. I can put like some raw stock down here, some fixtures or whatever, and then in progress. So it's pretty good so far. Um, when I get the, the 8020 enclosure, I'm going to mount the touchscreen to the 8020 enclosure. As far as the regulator and filter, here it is. I have it filled up with some oil. I am not sure because this, everything from this line going up and over to the CNC, it's going through this oil the oil separator oil filter or through the filter and the oil oiler whatever but the problem is whenever i have air running to the fog buster i am more than certain 
that there's gonna be oil in here just from that the filter running through that oil line. I guess I'll try it out and if it turns out really bad then obviously I'll fix it but we'll see what happens. So even after doing my last project on the Shapeoko, even what I thought was my last project on this, uh, on my first CNC, I have decided to keep it, even though I thought I was just gonna get rid of it, sell it. I generally enjoy making custom signs, what, making signs like that. I mean, this was this was an awesome, this was my funnest project I've ever made. And I, I wanna continue that. And I think I might just put like custom signs on Etsy, just, just to keep making them, but with that, I mean, cutting wood next to this thing, I don't want sawdust going in the ways of the machines and all sorts of crap, so I'm going to build a big enclosure, and I got inspired from Winston Makes on, on YouTube, I believe it is. I'll put a card here, and he built an enclosure for his, or what looks like it's going to be an enclosure, but I want it to be like up off the ground a little bit, and I want this piece to fit underneath there, so build it up off the ground, have the CNC, and then have this be able to go underneath of it. it has all the tools in there for this CNC. And I want to enclose this entire thing in some plexiglass from Home Depot. Something sort of similar to this. Or some type of acrylic, so it's not nearly as expensive. So hopefully that enclosure will help keep the dust completely out. I somehow doubt that the dust will be completely gone but it is worth a try. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. It'll sit right here, just up off the ground. And I'll have to move that stuff over to the other side of the garage maybe. Maybe over there, I'm not sure, but pretty cool stuff. I am very excited about how this has come along so far and can't wait to see what else this has got in store for us.